Welcome to Clarity Practice Management. My name is Frank Stitely. In this short training video, I'll, I'll be showing you how to set up and use workflow completion emails. As always, the navigation in Clarity is down the left explore tree. To set up a workflow completion email, you go first to administration, then you go to email, then you go to workflow completion. But before I show you how to edit and set up new workflow completion emails, I'd like to show you the finished product or what results once you've done this. I'm going to go to projects. I'm going to call up a project. And when I go back to the workflow steps, you can see out along the right column, we have a column called email notifications. And you notice that some of the workflow steps have email notifications checked as yes. And what that means is when the project reaches that workflow step, the client will get an email notification, and that email notification comes from our workflow completion email. So what I'm going to do in this next exercise to show you how these work and how you set them up is under the preparation workflow step, I'm going to create an email notification. So I'm going to go back to administration, email, workflow completion emails, and to create a new template, I hit the Create New Template button, then I give it a template name, and I call it Beginning Preparation. And then in the subject line, the subject line is what the client will see in their email notification in the subject line. I'll type in, we have begun your tax returns. Then we get to put in the body of the email. And if you look down below, you see we have some keywords that we can use where data gets inserted instead of just text. So I'm going to start out, dear. And then I'm going to use client username or client name, actually. I could have used username, but I think this will be a little more understandable. And then I will put in the username from our firm. And now I have a very simple email that says, we have begun preparing your income tax returns. Thank you. Hit the Save button. As you can see, now I have a new email template. The next step is to attach that workflow completion email template to the project type. So I'm going to go to projects on the left, project types. Then I'm going to go into the project type I'd like to attach this to, personal returns. And then I'm going to go to the workflow step that I want this workflow completion email to go out for. So I'm going to come over here for preparation, and I'm going to say edit. I'm going to pick email template, which is our beginning preparation. And I want to send an email. So then I hit the save button. And now I have an email attached to this particular workflow step. Now, the way this will work is when I set up a new project. I'll do that right now. And I will create a new project. Just as I would during tax season. And now if we go back to the workflow steps, you can see that now next to the preparation workflow step, we have an email notification that's going out. That's really all there are there is to workflow completion emails. It's really pretty simple, but it's a really powerful tool in that it automates 
many of the routine emails and phone calls that you might have to make to clients. As always, if you have questions, let us know. Visit our website at www.claritypracticemanagement.com. Thank you.